what can Mike Vrabel change to save the Titans season if he won't make coaching changes? We heard that earlier in the show on Titans Radio and 104.5 The Zone on the Mike Vrabel Show. Steven says nothing. Titans up says nothing. Shannon says give the play calling to Tim Kelly. You know, that's not a – I mean, I guess, would you consider that a coaching change? Certainly. I mean, so, it's a change on the coaching staff. So it doesn't count. <clears throat> Can't do it. Not accepted, Shannon. But Vrabel's not going to do it. Uh, Daly at left tackle. Get rid of Dennis Daly. Uh, try something else at left tackle. Anything else. Uh, left tackle. Move <laughs> Dennis Daly. Left tackle. Uh, let's see. Uh, takeover play call. Again, no coaching changes. Doesn't count. Uh, let's see. Uh, find a way to get Daly off the field. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I saw one say start Malik Willis, and if Daly stays at left tackle, they may not have a choice. Right, and he uh, won't make it through the season. Taking over play calling eh, doesn't count. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's some funny. Dennis ones. Daly, uh, pray. Just go to the good Lord above. Uh, let's see. Hire Frank Wright as a consultant. No coaching changes. Sorry, Devin. Eh, doesn't work. Uh, unfixable. Uh, nothing. Oh, man, this is good. I think we've stumped the chat. Uh, Daily, going back to Daily. Vrabel could replace Daily. New strength and conditioning coach. Oh, Devin, no, coaching changes. Doesn't work. No changes. Can't change. We're not changing. What medical staff? Does a medical Uh, staff count as a coaching change? Replace it as Daily. Daily. I mean, left tackle, left tackle. It's the most glaring weakness the Titans have on offense right now, so I'm not surprised to see the chat piling in on piling on Dennis Daly. Just play it out, and I think I think that's what the Titans are going to do. Yeah, uh, and I think that is the answer. I mean, we have the chat's answer. It's it's left tackle Dennis Daly. That's the only thing that you can change if you're not going to change. The coaching staff. You don't have the players to change your offensive philosophy. You can't go five wide like they did with Ryan Fitzpatrick when he started taking over quarterback. Let's go way back into the memory bank. You remember that? That was the Kendall Wright thousand yard season. <laughs> yeah. That's how he got there. Is just because he was just five wide, you know. And I remember, um, you know, the coaching that coach Titans coaching staff asked Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, what makes you feel most comfortable? You're playing with house money. The Titans blow. What can we win us the most games? You got five wide. Let's throw it out there. Uh, drag routes. Uh, you know, that that's – so I think it's playing it out and seeing – and, Jack, they have proven – they've won seven games, so they can win games. Now, they can't win uh, games against good football teams, which is a problem because that's who you face in the playoffs. I think they play it out, and this season they lean – even more into their identity. And Jack, we know what their ceiling is. Their all-time ceiling is a divisional round appearance. It's winning one game at home against maybe a, a Baltimore Ravens team that you know is second place, that is really a fifth seed because the Titans are going to be the fourth seed. And Lamar Jackson is still ailing. Mm. Like playing a backup quarterback. That I think that's your only hope to reach your all-time ceiling which is a divisional round appearance in Buffalo to get the brakes beat off of you. Uh, But I think you just lean into Derrick Henry running the football play action fake. And I think there's a little bit of prayer in there and there's health involved. Danico Autry and Traylon Burks and Christian Fulton coming back, I think does help this team. Certainly. Uh, And before we'll get to your answer, Jack, uh, fill up with some lunch, lunch money. Look, now this is Jack's lunch money. We've got Sam's lunch money. This is we'll put this in the jackpot. Uh, the jackpot. Yeah. Nice. Works. All right. It works out okay. well. Pun intended, I guess. <laughs> if we build this up, the more shows you do, you build up this lunch money. We take you to lunch. Now, if, you know. Oh. So uh, Vrabel can keep the run first offense, but change the formations. The formations uh, that the Titans use are predictable. They do know coach versus professional coach. So, Philip, I actually give you credit right there for your $5 lunch money, your jackpot money. That's a new answer that we've seen. 
change up the formations. If you're not going to change the coaching staff and you're not going to change the personnel, change the playing style. So, Philip, I like that. Jack, what would you change if you're Mike Vrabel, if you're not going to change the coaching staff? Well, Dennis Daly is the obvious answer, and I figured that the chat would come in pretty strong like they did on that. So I went, I, I, I kind of went a different route, and Jacob Westerman hit it on the head. More chig. It's all about the chigonometry, baby. If you follow me on Twitter, you know how much I love chig. Uh, but listen, chig is starting to be more featured in this offense. Perhaps it's because Traylon Burks is out and they don't have any other you know, real weapon playmaker to get the ball to. Chig's got 21 passes on the season, and 13 of those have come in his last three games. Chigakonku, good things happen when the ball finds Chig. 15.2 yards per reception. That's tied with Terry McLaurin, Devontae Adams, and Justin Jefferson. 